Right, so in this tutorial what we're going to concentrate on is producing an interactive PDF form that when opened in the PDF the user can fill in details in text fields, click submit and the information is transferred back to us via an email. Okay, so in this, this document, really this document I've already put together, that is just a brochure really, already got some interactive elements in here, um, going through different pages for these nice Caribbean resorts. Okay, it's got a bit of a navigation and some buttons, but the page that we're concentrating on is the very last page here where this form is going to be located. So let's just press W to turn on my guides and show my columns. Uh, so we need to have some text fields and a button. So let's just choose my rectangle frame tool and make a frame. And I'm just going to color this frame so at this stage we're not doing anything out of the ordinary we just made a, a normal InDesign frame. We're going to use this blue that I've been using throughout the document to keep it consistent. I will change the tint down a little bit there so it's a bit different and I will use my alt key just to drag this down and do my various text fields. So you can see the smart guides in InDesign are really useful for me here to make these nice and even so I know that everything's nice and balanced with these little green guides that come up. Just nudge these up a little bit to get them nicely aligned. Okay, so there'll be my text fields. I also need a submit button. So let's do another one down here. And actually let's just duplicate this last bit of text because I'm going to have this as submit there so let's just position this again we're just designing the form at the minute we're not putting any arrange that and I will bring that to the front okay so there's my submit form submit button so now I've got the look I've got this how I want to be this is where we start to add the interactive um, instructions to this particular form so let's come across to my buttons and forms here what I'm actually working in which I always work in when I'm doing an interactive PDF is the interactive for PDF workspace here which gives me all the panels that I need to create these various elements that I'm going to put in so let's pull out my buttons and forms here so first of all I'm going to select all these text frames here and I'm going to change the type up here to text field this makes them an active text field that the user can type in and the submit button what I'm actually going to do is select those two and I'm going to go to object and group so this is grouped together and this needs to be a button that I need to put an action on okay so to turn this into a button I come across to my buttons and forms click on the little convert to button buttons down here and let's have a look here so what I want this to do is on the event which is going to be click and the action is going to be right down the bottom here submit form there so that's the action complete now but what I do want to do actually on this particular button is have a little rollover state so when I roll my mouse over just something happens so we can tell that it's actually a clickable button so to do that um, I just need to go to my direct selection tool okay let's just click on that frame in the background and again I'm just going to change the color so let's bring the tint down even a little bit more on there so I've got a normal state and a rollover state there for that particular button okay so this is now on submit form so this bit here is the important bit the URL so what I want to do when they submit this is come through to my email so I need to type in mail to colon and then put the email address in that I want it to go to. Let's, let's send it back to me. So it's M A R K at Creative Studios Derby dot co dot UK. Okay, so that's all put on. So let's just check. I've got all these as text fields, and I've got my submit button there, which is on click, submit the form send it to that particular email address so all we need to do now is I'll just do a quick save actually of the document before I go any further and then I'll go to file down to export 
choose my interactive PDF setting down the bottom here. I'll just click on my desktop actually to save the test. Click on save. And I just want to generate this page in a minute. So I just want page seven. So I'm just testing the form really at this stage. And again, all these options here, we can change the way that the, the, the PDF works and looks. But again, I'm just testing the form really. So I'm not too concerned about these at the moment. So I'll just click OK. And when that's generated, it should automatically open the PDF so we can give it a little test. So it's in full screen mode, so I'll just accept that. And here we go. So text field, text field. Here we can type in whatever we want here. Obviously email addresses, phone numbers. I'm going to roll over my button. See the state changes. And I click on my button. And it asks me here. So my default email application is Microsoft Outlook. So that's fine. So let's click continue. Okay, and then when I go into my email application, okay, you can see now I've got the email sent, set up to that address, form returned as the subject, and it attaches that complete form there. Okay, so a very nice way to put in some nice bit of interactivity to get them to capture information really from people when they've completed and looked at your PDF form.